What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm El Tillman of the ELT Network, and welcome to my quick little, you know, recap and review of last night's WWE Draft. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the draft, not the actual matches. I'm not going to do a review of the whole entire show uh, of SmackDown Live. I'm just going to go through the draft picks, give you my thoughts. Overall, I, I like the draft. It was okay. It was something, I was going to say different, but it's not really different. It's something old that is new again. And I, I like some of the picks, but there were some of them that were shockers and not in a good way. So, first of all, let's go through the draft here. I'll give you my thoughts. We got round one. The first overall pick for Monday Night Raw. Well, actually, first, let me tell you the rules. The rules of the draft were Raw got the first pick. And since Raw is three hours, they got three picks. And since SmackDown is two hours, they got two picks. And six people will be selected from NXT. Those are the basic rules, alright? So... In the first round, the first pick for Monday Night Raw was Seth Rollins. And that came to no surprise. I don't think to anybody that was a surprise. You kind of figure, since Stephanie's running Raw, she's going to pick Seth Rollins. And the second pick for SmackDown was Dean Ambrose. Again, no surprise. You kind of knew going into the show that Stephanie McMahon was going to say, Okay, we want Seth Rollins. Shane was going to counter, Okay, well, we got Dean Ambrose. No surprise. Uh, the third pick for Raw was Women's Champion Charlotte. That was kind of a surprise that Charlotte came so early. I kind of thought it was going to be uh, Reigns. I thought he was going to be the third pick. And they were just going to get all three members of the Shield out of this whole equ equation. I thought that's how it was going to go. Stephanie, oh, we got Rollins. And then Shane, well, we got Ambrose. And Stephanie, well, okay, well, now we got Roman. And now we have a 66% chance of having the WWE Championship on Raw. But that's not how it went yet. Charlotte being the second pick means that the women's title is going to be on Raw now. Uh, hope they make another women's championship for SmackDown. Because it would be pointless to have the Divas just over there on SmackDown fighting for nothing. Just keep it the same championship as Charlotte. Change the background to blue. Like some people already uh, recommended. Probably do the same thing for the WWE Championship too. Have a, a red one on Raw, blue one on SmackDown, or bring back the World Heavyweight title. Either way, you gotta have two of those. Makes more sense. Uh, the fourth pick was uh, for SmackDown, and it was AJ Styles. That actually surprised me, and I actually liked that. I like that because it shows that uh, he's uh, valued, even though he's been booked like shit. I mean, come on. He's been booked like complete shit so far, but it shows some kind of value that he was so high in the draft. Got picked in the first round, number four. He's going to SmackDown, and at this point, I was really happy for SmackDown. We got Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles. I really feel as if AJ Styles, he could uh, just take the chains off. That's all you have to do. Just take the chains off, let him go at it. He could be the face of SmackDown. He could bring tons of ratings. He's popular. He sells merchandise. He could be the face of SmackDown, kind of like how it was, um, how Cena was like the face of SmackDown back in the day, and then you had Batista that was the face of SmackDown back in the day. AJ Styles could definitely fit that role. And the final pick, this was for Raw, and they drafted from NXT, and it was Finn Balor. So finally, Finn Balor's getting called up to the main roster, he's going to Raw. Kind of disappointed that he's going to Raw. I would have liked to have seen him on SmackDown. I feel as if he would have been better off on that show. Uh, how is he going to be booked? That's that's the question. How are they going to book Finn Balor? Hopefully he's just not going to end up being another Neville. Where they gave Neville a small push where he first came up. And then they just completely stopped for some reason. Hopefully they actually uh, treat Finn Balor good. Rumor has it that Vince actually is a fan of Finn Balor. And... Let's hope that that rumor's true and he actually gets some good enough booking. He could definitely be a top guy. No doubt in my mind. Alright, round two. First pick was for Raw again. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is going to Raw. I don't care. Uh, I actually like the fact that he's on Raw, so I was kind of hoping he would be on Raw. I want I wanted all the good guys to, like, to be on SmackDown. You know, like all the real, the real guys... That the hardcore wrestling fans that we all like, 
like these um, Seth Rollins, even though he's going to Raw, but I wanted him on SmackDown. I want the Dean Ambrose on SmackDown. I want the Finn Balor on SmackDown. I want the AJ Styles on SmackDown. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Cesaro. I wanted like all of them on SmackDown. But, and I want all the crap guys on uh, Raw. Roman Reigns is going to Raw. Who cares? Next pick was for SmackDown, and it was John Cena. John Cena's going to be on SmackDown. His feud with AJ Styles is going to continue. Disappointed at that. Brock Lesnar was drafted to Raw. <laughs> he just shows up whenever he wants, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Randy Orton was drafted for SmackDown Live. That was pretty cool. I like Orton. He could probably uh, have some good feuds on there in uh, SmackDown. If he would, uh, match with AJ Styles, probably be pretty good. And the 10th pick was for Raw, and it was the uh, Tag Team Champions of New Day. Again, I don't care about the New Day, so I'm glad they're on Raw. Alright, round number 3. Pick for Raw was Sami Zayn going to Raw. I wanted him on SmackDown, but that sucks. Next pick was for SmackDown, Bray Wyatt. Is going to SmackDown Live. This was actually really confusing because they mentioned during the show that the Wyatt family can be drafted separately, which is kind of stupid because the New Day got drafted all together. How come the Wyatt family can't get drafted all together? This is something weird. Like, they're going to push Bray Wyatt now as a solo competitor now? Because the whole Wyatt family gimmick is one of the best things WWE has going, gimmick wise. Better than the New Day, I'm telling you, big time. Uh. But Bray Wyatt, maybe he's going to be a solo guy now, even though later on there was another draft that happened. But I found that quite interesting, that Bray Wyatt got drafted solo, and the Wyatt family is now kind of separated. Next pick was for Raw, and it was uh, the 13th pick. Sasha Banks is going to be on Raw. Again, that's another one I was hoping for SmackDown, so I was just kind of getting disappointed. Like, damn it! Next pick was for SmackDown. Becky Lynch is going to SmackDown. That was okay. I like that. I want her and Sasha on SmackDown, but... As faith may have it, Sasha Banks is on Raw. Becky Lynch is on SmackDown. And the 15th pick was for Raw in round 3. And it was Chris Jericho going to Raw. I felt like that was a waste of a pick since he's not going to be around much longer. He's going to be going on tour in, I think in a couple months or something, so... That was kind of weird. I think they could have saved that pick for the uh, the WWE Network draft that happened after SmackDown Live. A lot of these draft picks they could have just saved for that. That was just that was just weird. Uh, round four, the 16th pick was for Raw. United States Champion Rusev with Lana. They're going to be on Raw. Whatever. 17th pick uh, was Intercontinental Champion The Miz with Maurice. They were like, okay, we're going to have the U.S. title on Raw, Intercontinental title on SmackDown. I like that. Seems fair. 18th pick, Kevin Owens. So he got drafted really far down. Shows how much they value him, right? Kevin Owens is going to Raw. I kind of wanted him and Sami Zayn to be separated, so that was kind of, was kind of annoying me. I was hoping for... Sami Zayn to be on SmackDown, Kevin Owens to be on Raw, but it actually happens to be, uh, they're both going to be on Raw. It would have been made more sense, though, if they were separate. I was just kind of thinking about that. Like, they could have been separated, and then you could have had a match down the line, maybe at a Survivor Series, where it could have been, oh, yeah, Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, and Kevin Owens is on Team Raw, Sami Zayn's on Team SmackDown, and they haven't seen each other in months, and when they finally get tagged into the ring with each other, they just collide and completely go at it. That could have been a really cool moment. But then both being on the same show, who knows what they're going to do. They're just going to keep this feud going on. Because the WWE Universe fans are going to get really bored real quick. Uh, number 19 was Baron Corbin going to SmackDown. Waste of a pick. And number 20, Enzo and Big Cass going to Raw. And God damn it. Wanted them on SmackDown. Okay, round 5. The 21st pick for Raw was Gallows and Anderson. So the club is now separated. AJ Styles is on SmackDown. Gallows and Anderson's on Raw. I actually kind of like that, even though the club was starting to get more comfortable and more into the zone on WWE. 
WWE's product. They were starting to demote. They had the whole beat up John Cena thing, which uh, was starting to get over. But AJ Styles, he's better off solo. He could really go at it. So I like the fact that he's now solo on SmackDown. Gallows and Anderson, who knows what they're going to do with them on Raw. Knowing them, they're probably just going to be in the mid-card with the tag team division and probably going to be forgotten about, sadly. Unless maybe they do something with Finn Balor. I doubt it, because they're probably going to push Finn Balor as a huge baby face. So, poor Gallows and Anderson. Next pick was, this was a really good one. SmackDown drafted from NXT, American Alpha. So, Jason Jordan, Chad Gable going to SmackDown. I really like that. The most shocking pick of the night, probably. If you haven't watched NXT, American Alpha, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, they are one heck of a tag team. No, one hell of a tag team. What am I saying? Why am I censoring myself? They are one hell of a tag team. I think they can do a great job on SmackDown if they're booked the right way. They can really uh, rejuvenate the tag team division. Back watching them on NXT. Jason Jordan, when he was a solo competitor, I really wasn't a huge fan of him. He just seemed kind of... Eh... In the ring, he wasn't really the best. But when he teamed up with uh, Chad Gable, he really started to click. They both really started to click. They both came into form, and they became a really awesome tag team. So American Alpha being on SmackDown, I actually like. Next pick, really stupid. Big Show drafted the Raw. Anyway, moving on. Next pick, Dolph Ziggler going to SmackDown Live. Okay, what are they going to do with Ziggler? He's been pushed and dropped, pushed and dropped, pushed and dropped, and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And dropped. Who knows what he's going to do? And the final pick in round five. This is from Raw. They draft from NXT. Nia Jax. Why? Out of all the people, out of all the women, in the women's division in NXT, Nia Jax gets drafted. You could have had Bailey, You could have had Asuka. But you go with Nia Jax, who most people consider to be the female Roman Reigns. She's supposed to be the dominant heel. She goes in there, has quick two-minute matches, has a couple of moves. Another cousin of The Rock. Nia Jax. Moving on. Round six. This was the, uh, was this the final one? Yes, this was the final round that was televised on SmackDown Live. 26 pick for Raw. Was Neville so Neville's coming back? Uh, it was uh, showing that he was on a he had a dark match on SmackDown like last week. So we were like, people were like, okay, now he's back. He's been drafted to Raw. Pretty cool. Wanted him on SmackDown, but whatever. Twenty seventh pick SmackDown Live chooses Natalia, so that's okay. Natalia's going to SmackDown. Fine. Way down in twenty eight is Cesaro going to Raw. This was upsetting and. He actually cut a promo on the uh, network. He seemed pretty pissed off about it, too. Doesn't really seem to fit him. Like, like he even said, like, Cesaro on Raw. He seemed more of a SmackDown guy, and he got drafted so down. What are they going to do with him on Raw? Who knows? He would have been a better fit for SmackDown. Really stupid. Next pick, number 29, Alberto Del Rio is going to SmackDown. Who cares? And the final televised pick. Who was the big, the final pick, right? Get you all hyped up. The final pick. This was for Monday Night Raw. And they chose Sheamus. Did I read that right? Sheamus? What the hell are they going to do with Sheamus? (laughs) They haven't done anything with Sheamus in months. And he's the final draft pick on a televised SmackDown Live. Going to Raw. This is draft, man. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what the WWE is smoking. 
what the creative team and what is, what is Vince McMahon actually? What is he smoking? What the hell is Vince McMahon smoking? He's smoking something. Maybe he's smoking whatever Roman Reigns smokes. Alright, now this is round 7 of the WWE Draft, which took place on the network. 31, pick for Raw, Golden Truth. I'm telling you, these draft picks, I don't know, man. I just don't know. 32nd pick for SmackDown, the Usos. Trying to get depressing, isn't it? 33rd pick for Raw, Titus O'Neil. Yes, Titus O'Neil, the guy that... How about this? Roman Reigns, right? He failed the wellness policy, alright? He, he tested positive for some kind of drug. 30-day suspension and his first match back, he is going for the WWE Championship. Titus O'Neil just playfully touches Vince McMahon's arm. Just playfully, just, ah, hey boss. He got a 90-day suspension for that. And then once Vince McMahon calmed down, they were able to talk him down to a 60-day suspension. He comes back from suspension, gets a shot at the U.S. title, and gets embarrassed on Father's, bleh, gets embarrassed on Father's Day in front of his kids. And Rusev goes over to his kids and is like, oh, look at that. Your father here is a loser. Just going to leave that right there. 34th pick for SmackDown Live, Demon Kane. Thirty-fifth pick for Raw is Paige. We prefer her on SmackDown, but whatever. Round eight, thirty-six pick for Raw, Darren Young with Bob Backlund. Miz is going to SmackDown. Darren Young is going to Raw, even though they were having a feud. What's going on with that? I have no idea. 37th pick, Kalisto is going to SmackDown. Pretty cool. Hope they give him some kind of a push. He's a really good guy. Really awesome lucha. Give him a push. Sin Cara is going to Raw. Naomi's going to SmackDown. Jack Swagger is going to Raw. The Ascension, going to SmackDown. Oh, these picks, these picks. Round number nine, forty-second pick on Raw. The Dudley Boys, they'll be on Raw. Zack Snyder's going to be on SmackDown. Summer Rae is going to be on Raw. Apollo Crews is going to be on SmackDown. Like that, give him a push as well. Uh, Mark Henry, he's going to be on Raw. And from NXT, on SmackDown, it's going to be Alexa Bliss. Give her credit. She's good. She's good in the ring. But Alexa Bliss gets picked over Bailey, And Alexa Bliss gets picked over Asuka? Okay. In what world... WWE world. Duh. Answer my own question. Round 10. Braun Strowman is going to Raw. So that separates him from the Wyatt family. Who the hell cares about Braun Strowman? Quick poll. Raise your hand if you care about Braun Strowman. Go ahead. Anybody? Anybody care about Braun Strowman? Come on. Show your hands. Braun Strowman. One, two, oh yeah, nobody. Pick number 49, Breeze Zongo is going to SmackDown. Tyler Breeze and Fandango are going to SmackDown. <laughs> 50th pick, going to Raw, Bo Dallas. Who cares? Next pick, going to SmackDown. Uh, it's funny, on their website, they don't say from NXT, but she was kind of down NXT. But anyway, going to SmackDown Live, 
Eva Marie. All red everything becomes all blue everything. According to WWE.com, they don't consider her from NXT. But she gets drafted over Bailey and Asuka. She's going to bring that up again. Pick number 52 for Raw, The Shining Stars. Oh, God. Pick number 53 for SmackDown Live, The Vaude Villains. They seem uh, fit for SmackDown. I always thought SmackDown's having like a couple, a couple of funny gimmicks, and they seem to fit well in SmackDown. All right, so the final round, round number eleven on the WWE Network. Choice number fifty-four going to Raw, Alicia Fox. Choice number fifty-five going to SmackDown is Eric Rowan, so he's going to be there with Bray Wyatt. So you have Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan on SmackDown, Braun Strowman on Raw. If Luke Harper comes back, where is he going to go? Who knows? Are they going to bring him, put him on SmackDown, have the original Wyatt family there? Are they going to put him on Raw and have two members of the Wyatt family on Raw? Two members of the Wyatt family on SmackDown? Who knows? Why did they separate the Wyatt family and not put them all together as a single draft pick? Who knows? Choice number 56, Dana Brooks going to be on Raw, so she'll just continue to be with Charlotte. Choice number 57 from NXT... Going to SmackDown Live is... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mojo Rawley. Mojo Rawley gets drafted from NXT. And he's going to SmackDown. Just to put into consideration, Mojo Rawley gets drafted... They draft him when NXT, just to name a few. You have the, the, the women, which I mentioned. You have Bailey, You have Asuka. But you also have Samoa Joe. Austin Aries. Shinsuke Nakamura. Just to name five other people that could have drafted from NXT. Just five. Just listen to those names. Bailey. Asuka, Samoa Joe, Austin Aries, Shinsuke Nakamura, Mojo Raleigh gets drafted. Now, some people are fans of Raleigh. Me, personally, I saw him, I saw him in NXT. Not a huge fan of uh, his gimmick, especially. I don't get hyped. I stay hyped. Kind of annoying. He just, he just really kind of just came off as annoying to me. Just running around the ring. Looking stupid. Kind of annoying. But he's going to SmackDown. 58th pick. Going to Raw. Curtis Axel. So two members of the Social Outcast are on Raw now. And the final draft pick of the evening. Going to SmackDown Live from NXT. Carmella. Why is she not going to be on Raw with Enzo and Cass? They were a thing down in NXT. Why is Carmella going solo? And why was she drafted over Bailey and Asuka once again? You see, this draft had so much potential to bring up so many good stars from NXT and to really make SmackDown have a hell of a roster. But some of these picks... Just really weird to me. I don't get it. And finally, undrafted, Heat Slater. And that was just some kind of joke they had at the end of the network show. He was just sitting in the back. Nobody was there with him. They turned off the lights. He was upset. Whatever. Heat Slater was undrafted, even though he has more charisma than some of these people. But whatever. So, that's the draft. SmackDown roster looks pretty good. Raw roster looks okay. I mean, you got Finn Balor over there, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens. But you also got guys like Reigns. 
SmackDown roster has uh, AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose. I don't know. This draft, I'm kind of upset. It's kind of upsetting. I kind of wanted better. Especially for SmackDown. Just kind of hoping that all the... Like I said, all the good guys that everybody in the... Uh, how, would I, how should I put this? The hardcore wrestling fans? Or the internet fans, like some people say? Ho hoping that all those guys are going to SmackDown to make it the top show. But some of them are on SmackDown, some are on Raw. My overall thoughts of the draft. If I was to give it a rating out of five stars, I'll give the draft... I'll give it a three. Three out of five. It was okay. Could have done a better job. Would have been cooler maybe if they would have made it like a lottery kind of thing. Instead of just having them pick it. Like, oh yeah, I picked this guy, I picked that guy, this guy, that guy. Maybe they could have had like a lottery like they did in 2004. Where it's like have all the superstars' names in the ball. Spin the wheel, take it out. And I drafted this person. Would have made more sense for some of these stupid draft picks like the Big Show. Like the Big Show. Who cares about the Big Show anymore? And, uh... So any guys at NXT that didn't get called up it was really surprising to me. Like Samoa Joe. I could have sworn that Samoa Joe and, uh... Samoa Joe and Bailey, like those were the two that I was pretty much 99.9% .9 sure they were going to get drafted and call up to the main roster. Shinsuke Nakamura, he's more than ready for the main roster, but I don't know, WWE wants to water him down some more. I mean, you got Nia Jax. Why Nia Jax? Why Mojo Raleigh? I don't know, man. This draft was okay. Again, three out of five. Kind of happy with it. Kind of upset at it. I guess we're just going to have to wait until next week. See how Raw is. See how SmackDown is. Hopefully they bring back a different stage. Give Raw a different stage. Give SmackDown a different stage. Different theme music for both shows. Make it more interesting. We'll have to wait and see. But until then, that's the draft. That's my thoughts. That's my quick little review. I'm Elton of the ELT Network, signing out.